Ashwarya Reddy, a student of Delhi's Lady Sri Ram College for Women, died by suicide on 2nd of November in her hometown in Telangana. She reportedly left a suicide note in which she mentioned about the financial difficulties and challenges that she had to go through in the recent past. The story of Ashwarya Reddy is heartbreaking. Now, during the COVID-19 lockdown, ladies and gentlemen, we read multiple reports about falling GDP, increasing unemployment, delay in wages and much more. However, what remained lost in these big figures were stories like those of Ashwarya Reddy. Ashwarya, a BSc Mathematics Honours student, hanged herself at her residence in Rangareddy district of Telangana on 2nd of November. Her family alleged that she wrote a letter before she died in which she mentioned that she wanted to become an IS officer but did not want her education to be a burden on her family. As per the alleged letter written by Ashwarya, she wrote, Because of me, my family is facing many financial problems. I am a burden for my family and my education has become a burden. She also mentioned in the letter that if she cannot study, she cannot live. Now, let's understand the financial condition of the family, ladies and gentlemen. Ashwarya's father worked as an auto mechanic worker. Her mother worked as a tailor. Her sister was forced to drop out of school as the family could not afford education for both the girls. Ashwarya's father managed to take a loan of rupees 2 lakh after mortgaging their home and sold their gold ornaments for their daughter's education. Now, this further worsened the family's economical condition. Ashwarya was a state class 12th examination topper and had managed to secure a seat in Delhi's prestigious LSR college based on her merit. She was also a recipient of the government's Inspire scholarship offered by the Ministry of Science and Technology. However, as per her family, she wasn't sure if she received the full amount. Now, while Ashwarya's father claims that the scholarship was delayed, a letter received by Ashwarya mentions that there was still time for the procedure to be completed. As per the letter dated 6th of August 2020, it was informed that she had been provisionally selected for the higher education scholarship. However, it also mentioned that the release of the annual fund of rupees 80,000 was subject to the details of bank account and the Aadhaar card details that she had to submit before 31st of December 2020. Now, let's take you through some details. Dr. Sanjay Mishra, who's in charge of the Inspire program, says that at times there is some sort of a delay in this entire scholarship process due to technical reasons. However, in this case, Ashwarya's family has alleged that she was depressed and worried because she was asked to vacate her hostel accommodation based on the hostel's new policy that only reserves the accommodation for first year students. Now, all of this was happening at a time when Ashwarya was struggling to purchase a second hand laptop for her online education. After much request, she was finally given an extension till 7th of November to vacate the hostel accommodation. Now, Ashwarya received the scholarship back in 2019. However, the scholarship starts only in her second year to prevent the scholarship from reaching students who have dropped out in the first year. On 14th of September, Ashwarya had written an email to Bollywood actor Sonu Sood requesting for financial assistance. In the email, she had mentioned that she's not sure whether she will be able to complete her graduation due to lack of financial support. Another student from her college claims that Ashwarya had not eaten anything two days before she died and she was worried about her education. The death of the 19-year-old girl has triggered massive protests across the country with students and student unions demanding justice for Ashwarya Reddy. The Student Federation of India has called it an institutional murder and has said that in the middle of the pandemic, the central government is not distributing any national fellowships since the last six months. And this has jeopardized the students' lives and has led to a situation that a bright young scholar had to end her life. The student body has also alleged that the psychological trauma due to the long pending Inspire Fellowship and the insensitivity from the part of the administration led to her death. Ashwarya's death brings to light the pressure experienced by students from the underprivileged parts of the society who succumb to financial challenges while representing the best chance for their family's future. Financial difficulties during lockdown and insensitive administration and discriminatory policies at a college hostel together killed a 19-year-old girl who was full of potential but had no resources. Now, after losing their daughter, Ishwara's family hopes that the government releases her scholarship amount as per her last wish and also hopes that no other student in this country has to go through the same trauma.